Often, the you who you see is who you tend to be. But you can help to shape and determine your own destiny. You can remove sympathy and grace ourselves with empathy. With a determined spirit, we can set ourselves free. But only if you know the grassroots of our black history. When I think of black history, I think of Bob Marley, who in his short journey sang to liberate our minds from mental slavery. With powerful words of wisdom, a prophet he seemed to be. He taught much about our roots and black integrity. I think of Marcus Garvey as a real maestro. He called for repatriation as a Jamaican national hero. The likes of him, Queen Nzinga and Shaka Zulu, even South African Bishop Desmond Tutu. Their fight was real and their determination was true, but it seemed that the struggle was all these warriors ever knew. I think of the late great Madiba, aka Nelson Mandela, whom because of endurance, grace and stamina, many would refer to as a modern day good fellow. He as we know liberated South Africa and taught blacks and whites to love and appreciate one another, even in this yet current complex era. Remember Robert Llewellyn Bratcher, a national icon who wrote his name in black history. May his great name live on. He started the march towards independence. Simmons and Daniel carried it on, but we're still not fully independent as the struggle obviously goes on. We praise and recognize the efforts of the brave Rosa Parks, who sat in the very jaws of the great white sharks. Even as the racist stared and made hateful remarks, she did not flinch, not a question did she ask. No matter how they hissed, no matter how they cussed, she held firm to her seat on that cold passenger bus as she realized her bold statement to the haters was a must. We can remember and mention names of black heroes all day, those who help us to see and know a brighter way. Men like Pele, Sugar Ray, and Muhammad Ali, Vivi Richards, Gary Sobers, and others from the sporting fraternity, as we praise and honor all other architects who shape black history. But the great Martin Luther was a real peaceful king. He led the march through hostile streets where for peace and freedom they would sing. Even as they turned their dogs and their water hoses on him, he never gave up. He persevered even if he had to swim. How these great soldiers overcame was nothing short of a mystery. But these warriors had a determination to shape black history.